Hello, in this video we're going to do some general equilibrium analysis. We're going to have a one-person economy or a Robinson Crusoe economy, one person who produces and consumes two goods. Robinson has two production functions. Robinson can produce good X. Looks like this, so X is units of good X. And Robinson can produce good Y, so Y is units of good Y. And his production will be dependent upon hours of work in producing good X and hours of work spent producing good Y. So we're going to assume Robinson has six hours per day to produce goods. Um, so the hours spent in the production of good X plus the hours spent in production of good Y must equal six. And Robinson has the following utility function. So our goal here is to try to maximize Robinson's utility. The first step is to solve for Robinson's production possibilities frontier. Again, recognizing that we're limiting Robin to six hours a day of production. So the hours spent in producing good X plus hours spent in producing good Y must sum to six. So taking what's in parentheses here and solving for L subscript Y. And we're going to take this result and we're going to plug it into the production function for good Y. And here is the production function from good Y from the previous screen. Making that substitution, we get this. Multiplying through by uh, 6 here of uh, the things in parentheses gives us this result. We're going to solve this now for L subscript X, the hours spent in the production of good X. So solving for L subscript X, we get this result. We're going to plug this result into the production function for good X. So where I have L subscript X here, we're going to plug in 6 minus Y divided by 6. And at this step, we're now going to be solving for Y. So squaring both sides, X becomes X squared. 5 squared is 25. And 1 half squared is just 1. Gives us this result taking this result and dividing both sides through by 25. So x squared divided by 25 now over here. And again, we're just solving for y. Moving 6 over to the other side gives us this. Multiplying both sides through by minus 1. So reversing the signs gives us this. And then multiplying both sides through by 6 we have Robinson's production possibilities frontier. The next step is to solve for Robinson's utility maximizing consumption bundle, which will be given by this condition. Or in short, the MRS equals MRT. The intuition behind this is that Robinson is trying to get on the highest indifference curve possible that just touches his production possibilities frontier. So to get the marginal rate of substitution, the MRS, we're going to take Robinson's utility function and get the marginal utility of good X and the marginal utility of good Y. So the marginal utility of good X is just Y squared. Derivative of X is 1, so 1 times Y squared leaves us this. And the marginal utility of good Y, the derivative of Y squared is just 2Y. It's touching X, so it's 2XY. Uh, the marginal rate of substitution is the marginal utility good X divided by the marginal utility good Y. So making our substitutions and simplifying, Robinson's MRS is Y divided by 2X. Now to get the marginal rate of transformation, which is nothing more than the negative of the slope of the production possibilities frontier, the PPF, here is Robinson's production possibilities frontier that we solved for. We're going to take the derivative of this and then just take the absolute value of the derivative. So doing that, um, this x squared here, we bring down to 2 in front, we get 12x. So that's where that's coming from, divided by 25. We're losing the minus sign because, again, we're taking the absolute value of it, or the negative of the slope. Setting the MRS equal to the MRT. Solving for y, so multiplying both sides through by 2x gives us this. We're going to plug this back into the production possibilities frontier. 
I do that over here. So where we have a y, I'm now putting in 24x squared divided by 25. Solving this for x squared, um, I add 6x squared divided by 25 to both sides. So 6x squared divided by 25 added to both sides is where this 30x squared is coming from over here. And let's see, um, 25 times 36 is 900. Then 900 divided by 30 is just 30. Taking the square root of 30, Robinson will produce 5.48 units of good x. Plugging this 5.48 back into the PPF, production possibilities frontier, Robinson will produce 28.8 units of good y. Robinson's utility maximizing consumption bundle consists of 5.48 units of good X and 28.8 units of good Y. Plugging those values into the utility function, Robinson's utility is a little over 4,500. If we want to get hours of labor spent producing good X and good Y, take Robinson's production function for good X, set x equal to 5.48 units. That's how many units he's producing after all. And then solve for L subscript x. And we'll see that Robinson spends 1.2 hours in the production of good x, giving him 5.48 units of good x. And to get the amount of time spent in the production of good y, recognizing Robinson has six hours a day to produce, 6 minus 1.2 means he's spending 4.8 hours a day in the production of good Y. What is the implicit price ratio? We'll get this by setting the marginal rate of substitution equal to the price of good X divided by the price of good Y. It's an implicit price ratio because Robinson is not uh, uh, explicitly paying these prices. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, the MRS is y divided by 2x. And putting in our value uh, values for y and x here, we have an implicit price ratio of 2.63. And that's the end. I hope you found this video helpful.